All right, welcome back to the next video. We're going to do um, death and respawning. So um, I don't know about you, but I was a bit annoyed about this um, cursor. So we're just going to add to the start function of the first person controller uh, this line, which is cursor dot lock state equals cursor lock mode dot locked. Um, that'll just lock the cursor um, so that it doesn't wander off the screen all the time. Um, and now we can get onto the laser gun script. So this is a real cool one. We're just going to go straight to the place where we've already detected. Um, so we can see in where we've actually detected that we've hit something. And we're going to just basically say, um, have we hit something? And uh, is this the player? So I'm going to do this cheap way. It's not great, but I'm going to create a, a variable called player. And we're going to just check if it has the component of laser on it or laser gun on it. So hit.collider.gameobject get component and pass in laser gun if it has the laser gun on it we can assume it's uh, it's a player it's not great but it'll do so if that is the case so so if player is true then we will simply um, do a respawn thing so I'm going to write this in a separate function rather than do it here um, so we know it's a player we're just going to do a respawn so we're going to do an I enumerator style um, function in this piece of code. So um, popping down to um, just underneath the command shoot, um, we're going to run this on the server. And again, you can add this decorator of server. This will definitely run on the server because it's been called by a command, which uh, which only run on the server. But um, it's an I enumerator type. Um, so we're going to do a, a, a pause in the middle of it, and we're going to call it respawn. And we are going to pass to it the um, the game object that we want to uh, unspawn and then respawn. Uh, the network server is a really cool thing. So the network server is where we're going to do an unspawn function. Um, and I needed a little bit of testing of this, but um, this is probably a really neat way of doing it. So if you type in um, network server uh, dot unspawn and then pass it the game object you want to unspawn and um, this will just disappear it from the scene and um, so if I've passed in a geo and then we need to get the a new spawn position um, so I'm gonna create a transform call this a uh, new pause or something like that and then we can get from the network manager we can get a spawn position because they're all um, tracked by the network manager. So network manager dot singleton dot um, get a start position will return me a new position um, based on the rules that the network manager is using. So I'm just going to say to uh, move this transform dot position of this game object to the new pause dot position and the same for the rotation. So geo dot transform dot rotation equals new pause dot rotation um, when we've done that we should wait for a second so I'll use a yield return new wait for seconds and uh, then we want to spawn this guy back up again so we'll use again um, the network server so if we use um, network server Uh, that's not it. Um, yeah, network, yeah, network server, not network manager. And we'll use a spawn function. And um, we pass in the game object that we want to spawn, and we pass in the um, the, the one that has the network identity to it as well. So we also need to uh, call this function. So um, we'll go back up to the command shoot and uh, use start coroutine to run this coroutine to respawn and pass in the object that we hit, so hit.collider.gameobject. Um, there is uh, one extra step that we need to take um, after testing this, I found out, if we um, save everything. Uh, if you see that the player itself, the player um, prefab, has a capsule collider on it. So what we need to do is uh, remove that capsule collider because we want it only to contact the top level object. So remove the capsule collider from the player and then when the, when the thing hits we're going to just save this all up and we're going to build it. Um, but when the ray hits it's going to hit the top level one which has the laser on it otherwise the whole thing won't fire. So 
Uh, I got this up and running and um, you can see from this if I can hit the thing that we are able to kill the um, player. We get a single hit and it respawns in one of the random respawn positions. Because um, there's only about four positions it keeps respawning in the same place all the time. But um, you can see it does disappear um, and then after a second it reappears at one of the new positions. And you can see that it works across the network too if you do it from the other one. Um, exactly the same thing. So uh, hopefully it's a nice short one and we'll move in to refactor this and make it a little bit neater and put it in maybe a health script next time around.